Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We're located at 3882 Highland Road, and we worship each Sunday at 1030 in person here in our beautiful sanctuary at that address I gave, 3882 Highland Road. But we're also live streamed through Vimeo, and you can uh, receive that link on our website at Waterford. C-U-M-C.org. Again, that's Waterford, C-U-M-C.org. Stands for Central United Methodist Church. So please uh, join us on Sunday morning. We'd love to have you join us. And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, if you join us in person, we'll make you feel right at home and, uh, and welcomed. Also, if you find these devotions uh, helpful, uh, please uh, share them with those who you think would benefit from hearing uh, uh, these brief moments of teaching and reflecting on the message from the previous week and uh, in, in God's Word. Uh, speaking of God's Word, I want to move right on to the uh, scripture uh, that I'd like us to consider today. This comes from uh, Paul's letter to the Galatians, uh, chapter 5, 16 to 26. So this is talking about um, uh, living by the flesh against living by the Spirit. Um, it gets a little heavy, but... Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's read it. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For those who are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, en enmities, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. Wow. So, <laughs> the, there's a lot there uh, to talk about. Uh, I, I ended the message this past Sunday talking about the fruit of the Spirit, talking about how we are to um, bear those fruit in our lives. You know, we, we focused on the passage uh, from the 15th chapter of John's Gospel where Jesus is telling people, look, I'm the vine, you are the branches, you are to bear fruit. There's this expectation uh, from the vine grower who, in this analogy that Jesus is using, is, is God. And God tends to the vine and the branches. God tends to the vine who is Jesus. God uh, then through Jesus uh, tends to the branches who is us, and we are to bear fruit for God's kingdom. And the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All those things, there's, there's nothing against those things. There's no law against such things, says Paul. So if you're bearing fruit, uh, let that list of fruit uh, affect every decision that you make in life. Think about it. You're about ready to make a decision or, you're, or you've, uh, you've been caught off in traffic and you're about ready to cuss out the person who cussed you out, even though they can't hear you, uh, the person who cut you off. And, and you, you begin to say, ah, oh, you know, but love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. <laughs> so have a little self-control. Pull back, say, uh, you know, uh, they cut me off. I, I, I've, I'm angry, but, but I am called to love them and to bear that fruit in my life. I, I wish them well, hope that they remain safe. How's that for uh, dealing with road rage? <laughs> it's just something to think about, friends. Paul uh, wrote uh, earlier in Galatians, he says, I've been crucified with Christ, and it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. When you have that vital connection with our God through Christ, then we lose our desires for that. That, that was quite a list uh, that I read later in, in Galatians, right? Um, uh, where Paul talks about licentiousness and carousing and fornication and all those things. All those temptations in our lives melt away when we are connected with our God. 
and then we are truly freed to, to bear fruit for God's kingdom. That love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I hope you're bearing fruit for God's kingdom uh, each and every day. Think about using that list as a as a as a way of of uh, making decisions. You know, what are you bearing fruit for? Uh, is your fruit uh, um, uh, tasty and wonderful, and will win others? Uh, for Christ in the world today. Something to think about, friends. I wish you well over this weekend. I hope you join us for worship. I invite you to join us for worship on Sunday morning, either live streamed or in person. Uh, Again, we're at 3882 Highland Road. God bless you. God loves you. And let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time together. We ask that as we seek to be your people, connected with Christ, we are expected to bear fruit for your kingdom. May you guide us so that we can bear that fruit in ways that are meaningful and give you glory. In Christ's perfect and precious name we pray. Amen. Hey friends, have a great weekend. Hope to see you Sunday. And God bless you.